Someone please tell me what the heck Blizzard were thinking dropping this patch, this 1.1.0 patch, a few days before the season starts as well, the season of the Malignant. This is by far, in my opinion, one of the worst patches I have seen in video game history. The timing of it is completely wrong. The contents of it are just completely backwards So what most people wanted. I mean, I'm just so confused as to what they were thinking in doing. I just don't get it, guys. I just don't get it. Today, we're getting to it all. How's it going, people? My name is DPJ. And if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this patch... Uh, the 1.1.0 patch we've all probably got it installed as of right now you've probably played it already now what i will say is and i'm going to start by saying this there are some great changes here uh, there's definitely some great changes within this patch but the majority of these great changes weren't really needed in regards to the changes that they've implemented which were definitely not needed i mean this is a this is a 90 10 in favor of being absolutely shocking in regards to what this patch is doing to this game now i'm going to straight up say as well i play necromancer i've just got my necromancer to a level 100 about three or four days back i do not sweat this game 24 hours a day like a lot of the content creators do that is not me i've got a life outside the game which i actually enjoy so i do not sweat this game i've literally just got my necromancer to a level 100 i ain't one of these min max kind of players either that's not me. What I believe Blizzard have done, especially in regards to some of the nerfs we are seeing here, is they're just watching the top, top players play this game. I just cannot see from this patch that they actually pay attention to anyone besides these top, top players. Because <laughs> these, these changes, guys, these nerfs are utterly ridiculous and with a game this big as well trying to balance things it's going to be way way harder and i know it isn't just going to be a simple patch ain't going to do that it's going to be an overtime thing which i i know for an absolute fact as well guys a lot of these are going to be reverted or changed or rebuffed because some of these nerfs are absolutely abysmal but yes as i said i play necromancer and I want to get this out there. I scrapped my Quest Explosion build because it was just too weak for endgame. So I went to that Bone build. If one uses Bone build on Necromancer someday or another. Uh, the Bone build is absolutely ridiculously powerful. I ain't going to say overpowered because there's some things out there that are way more powerful. But it's powerful. I would say now post-patch, I'm probably down 50% damage. But even still, I'm still super powerful. I can still run through what I need to run through relatively quickly. I ain't going to complain for the way I play this game. I ain't going to complain about that. Necromancer, bone builds are still absolutely great. I actually enjoy the fact now that people will probably try other things. But in regards to what this patch has done, I don't think they can. <laughs> I don't think they can. Now, it, my main gripe with this isn't the Necromancer either. My main gripe with this is, like I said, them seeing a few individual players and the way they play this game. And they think everybody... In this world who plays this game sweats their ass off 24 hours a day trying to min max gear and it's i just don't, what what i think is pissing me off even thinking about it it really is because it isn't like that it isn't the way games are played now now in my opinion this actually is a way more casual diablo than previous games there's way more of a casual player base to this game but they're definitely 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 in my opinion not implementing patches that just calculate and work around all of that it just isn't happening here now what i will say is sorcerers i really feel sorry for you sorcerers are by far the most squishy builds i've ever seen ever and they've just made them absolutely worse now they've tried to fix a few things we ain't gonna lie about that i mean some decent fixes too some decent fixes across the board for a lot of characters but in regards to the overall the overall spectrum of nerfs that have just dropped into the game They've made them worse. They've actually made sorcerers worse. I don't know how they've done this. This is the complete opposite of what is needed for this game. It was just complete. Everyone knows that sorcerers are the worst. Now they're just beyond the worst. I mean, what? How can they get this, this so wrong? I just don't get it. But an even bigger gripe of mine is the XP nerfs. The XP nerfs that are only going to affect new players or people. Or because season one started now and everyone has to start fresh and level up, it's going to affect everybody. 
And the reason this is happening is, it's the reason why everything's going to take longer is, and the reason why they're nerfing things about like you getting carried through a dungeon by high level players, XP gains are going to be as bad as ever, is because they want to stretch out this season. Kind of makes sense, but it's still a shitty, shitty move in my opinion. It really is. Now, the how tides themselves have been changed a bit. I'm not going to lie, they probably need to be changed. I could get 500 cinders in like 15, 20 minutes quite easily. Now, I played it post patch and I will confirm this as well. There is a bug, a bug that they're going to hot fix. Uh, you can see this right here, guys. Portassi, how tide cinder drops are down like, I don't know, 50, 70%, blah, 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 blah. And he says it's, a, it's, a, it's basically a bug and uh, it, they're going to fix it in the first hot fix. So yes, if you're, I actually farmed this, uh, the Howl Tide post patch. It took me like half an hour to get 250. It's, I did a whole event, a whole event in the Howl Tide area, and I got one. Count them, guys. Count them. Put your hands up in the air. I got one, one Cinder from a whole event. So yeah. But the Howl Tide, that's going to be hot fixed. The uh, the issue with the Cinders is going to be hot fixed. But and I mean, when you scroll down, you read through all this. And I mean, it seems like it ain't too bad. It seems like the changes are probably needed. Some of the level changes, some of the XP changes. But it's overall, it's just completely bad. And I'll finish off this, they finish off this whole, this whole update. And you'll see it here. Oh, look at all these buffs. Look at all these beautiful buffs. Oh, look, I read this. I was skipping through all this and I saw bone skill. Oh, increased by 25%. Even though when I'm playing, I feel like I'm 50% down. It's because of the other nerfs I've, they've implemented. There's so many other nerfs, which are just, I mean, cooldown reductions, critical strike damage reduced, vulnerable damage reduced. I mean, this affects everybody. This affects everybody. Sorcerers who need this shit, like plus 100. I mean, again, I feel that what they've done is I've watched a couple top tier streamers. They've noticed what is what people are capable of, and I've just brought the game. They've made the game worse for many, many, many players. It just seems that is the case. It really does, and it's a it's a bummer. It really is. I mean, uh, we'll go to the Twitter. Well, check this out, guys. Check this out. And if you think I'm exaggerating here, check this shiz out. Check this shiz out. That's not the one I want to click on. What am I thinking? This is what I want to click on. This is what I want to click on. Now, are you prepared to see the amount of people complaining here? Blizzard, we know rogues use puncture in every build. So to make sure players keep doing that, we gave him its own aspect. <laughs> Jesus, man. Patch notes are yikes. The XP nerf is wild. The XP nerf is beyond wild. I mean, I just do not get it. Uh, and to be honest, guys, as we keep look at this, the only, the only thing in Diablo, the Bone Spear Necro Fears is updating. To be honest, natural Bone Spear is still quite good. Like I said, it's actually still pretty good. I can't complain about that. I really, I really can't complain about that. <laughs> they nerfed the base game so players want to get malignant hearts in seasons. I mean, I don't even know. Just tell us, yeah, I released a half baked game. I mean, a lot, a lot of these people. I just they're just telling the truth these are the kind of people these are my kind of people damage and experience nerfs across the board months of health buffed gonna lead to much longer grinds not sure what the direction they're going but it seems like they went backwards with the patch notes and it's true they've gone completely backwards they really have can we get an f for sorcerers uh, this was a nerf fest and killed the hype for season one I was never going to make a sorcerer. My mate plays sorcerer. I play with him every day. And I'm just watching him just squishy with running dungeons. He's sitting back, shooting from afar, getting one slapped by absolutely everything. And yes, he probably should make a better build. But at the end of the day, not everybody's capable of grinding the game 24 hours a day when you've got full time jobs outside of gaming. You can't do it. You just can't do it. Great patch. <laughs> Jeez, man. I, like I said, guys, this is an absolute atrocity of a patch. Giving up, reading that barrage and nerf, that's a massive hour reading it, but I guess we'll see how it plays out. This was three hours ago, but he's jumped on the game and pulled his hair out. He's got a hairline like me now, no doubt about that. 
This may be the worst update I've seen ever seen. I can't even lie to you. I feel the same. I feel the same. How to prepare for season of the malignant? On his the game. Jesus. I'm not sure that's that Jesus. Hefty nerfs, but I believe the changes will be great in the long term, especially the changes regarding scaling. Uh, you do realize this will be the norm. Yes, it will be. Like I said, it's one of many. There may be a few buffs to things that have been nerfed, but this seems to be like the direction I want to take the game. <sighs> sucks. It really sucks. Probably the worst patch in video game history. I mean, these ain't kids, people. These are actually legit players. Congrats on the amazing patch. Can't wait for patch 1.2 when you nerf barb damage by 200% and rogue deals 90% less damage. Looking to snag some level 5 gear? Do you want my damage now? Can't tell if being serious or not, to be honest. I'm not even going to lie. Well, yeah. So the majority of us feel, guys. It really is. But again, just keep coming. Everybody is upset. Everybody is upset. I mean, Necro. I mean, don't. Necro is still fine. Necro is completely fine. Wonder if anyone's told him that. Yeah, it does still. It still it hits hard. I wouldn't say it's absolutely broken, but it does definitely hit hard still. Definitely hits hard. <laughs> and you just have to read in the patch notes. <laughs> Jeez, man. This is it. This is why did you nerf defensive and resistances are still broken? Like I don't even care about anything else in this patch. This obedience, total armor, and DR nerfs make no sense. But that's the only thing keeping us alive. I really hope it's not as bad as like it is. It is. <laughs> but yeah, that's enough. Nerfs on nerfs on nerfs. It is. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Ugh. Guys, I just I don't even know. I started this video, just press record, went to this because actually you know what? I made a video earlier talking about the new unique items and legendary aspects, and I actually just quickly scrolled down i quickly scrolled down i must have gone to about here and i thought oh quite a few good changes coming so i've gone back up and i've just done a video covering the aspects and the new uniques and uh yeah well i was actually excited for them although the necromancer one's pretty bad for how i play uh both ways really but um then coming down i'm like oh man some decent bug fixes co-op play decent dungeons not too bad uh and the further i got down the further i got down i started seeing like this isn't making sense and you know there's nerfs as well guys that they haven't disclosed in this there's other nerfs that they haven't disclosed in this and there's no doubt other things that are bugged too if you feel playing and you're experiencing something that hasn't been mentioned in these patch notes it's either been nerfed uh, without them even stating it or it's probably a bug one of many many bugs a patch this size would probably bring which won't be fixed for a long ass while so yes but guys tell me your thoughts on this down below let me know i know some people are going to be like well yeah some of the changes are decent some of the changes are definitely decent let's not lie there they are but the majority of these are absolutely shocking i mean i ain't making this video because i'm angry i'm making this video because i'm pissed motherfucking up but yeah i ain't the only one like i said I mean, I ain't the only one. I knew this shiz was just going to hit like, on a different level. Oh, man. Oh, man. What's he said here? So let me make sure I understand. Pre-season one, I was killing mobs three levels higher than me and getting 20% more XP. Post-season one, I need to kill mobs 10 levels higher than me to earn 15. Yes, you ain't bad at maths, mate. That is legit. That is legit. The XP gains are going to be utterly garbage now. Just so season one takes us longer to level up in. And that's the, that's the, well, the direction it seems. They want to go with Diablo 4. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below on this. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you on that next one. Sorry, Sorceress. <laughs>